Venezuela tried to sink a U.S. Navy destroyer. Yes, they actually fired missiles. Real jets, real Russian weapons, zero warning, and the Navy had 90 seconds to survive. You're about to see exactly what happened, step by step, and why this incident almost triggered a war in the Caribbean. And nobody talked about it. The most shocking part isn't the attack. It's how fast the U.S. erased it. It starts with satellite heat signatures. Two Venezuelan Su-30s getting fueled and armed. Not training rounds, KH-31 anti-ship missiles. These are ship killers. A Navy intel officer literally says, those are not for drills. Target, a U.S. destroyer on routine patrol. Routine, until it wasn't. A U.S. E-2 Hawkeye picks them up. Two fighters, low altitude, fast approach, no transponders. Trajectory, directly at the destroyer. Clock starts, 20 minutes until possible engagement. Nobody knows if they're bluffing. Spoiler, they weren't. Inside the ship's combat information center, screens light up, radars sweep, missiles arm, the crew locks in. No panic, just train violence. One order matters, prepare to engage. Weapons tight. If you're a sailor right now, your heartbeat is getting loud. Then it hits. Vampire, vampire, missiles inbound. Two KH-31s in the air, Mach 3, sea skimming. Built to kill exactly this ship. 90 seconds until someone dies. The destroyer doesn't fire first. It vanishes from digital reality. Electronic warfare. Chaff clouds, flares, radar spoofing. Fake ship signatures everywhere. Missile one bites the decoy. Gone. Three left. Missile two stays locked. Smarter seeker, too close. Vertical launch opens. SM-6 fired. $4 million missile versus a $1 million threat. Direct hit. Gone. Two left. Venezuela panics. Two more missiles fire. Close. Fast. No time for long-range defense. ESSM interceptors launch. Rapid fire. One kill. One missile damaged. Still flying, tumbling like a metal torpedo. Five seconds from impact. No missiles left. The ship goes primal. Phalanx CIWS, pure metal thunder. 4,500 tungsten rounds per minute. The damaged missile dissolves mid-air. Four missiles fired. Four missiles dead. Zero U.S. casualties. The Venezuelan jets turn around. Fuel low. Morale lower. They came to humiliate the U.S. Navy. Instead, they got a master class in naval defense. No White House podium. No breaking news. No press release because silence is a message. If the U.S. bragged, Venezuela would have to respond. Russia would get involved. And suddenly, we aren't narrating this, we're living it. Quiet winds are the loudest in geopolitics. This fight proves something terrifying. Modern naval warfare is 90 seconds long. No time to call Washington, no diplomats, just instinct, steel, and layered machines. Satellite, AWACS, Aegis, Electronic Warfare, SM-6, ESSM, CIWS, Seven Layers, Zero Room for Failure. War today isn't ours, it's seconds. Now picture this, one seeker malfunctions, one interceptor misses, one radar blink, boom, a US destroyer sinks, 200 sailors lost, markets crash, the Pentagon mobilizes, Russia denies involvement but watches. China tests timing. Your news feed turns red. That's how close we were. This wasn't a flex from Venezuela. It was a probe. Testing response speed. Electronic signature behavior. Defense layers. The US answered without bragging. Just results. That's why this never hit mainstream news. In modern geopolitics, real power wins fast, stays quiet, and lets enemies whisper the story for you. The U.S. Navy didn't win. It reminded the world who owns the oceans. And here's what almost nobody knows. That day wasn't unique. There have been other incidents, different oceans, different adversaries, same silence. And one of them happened much closer to U.S. shores and nearly ended very differently. Subscribe so you don't miss the next breakdown.
The calm ocean you see isn't peace, it's pressure. 